Hey Autoblog, this is Associate Editor Brandon Turkus, and I am in the new Land Rover Range Rover TD V6 that is the diesel model, and I am going to give you my first impressions. I've literally just gotten the car, I haven't started it yet, I haven't adjusted anything, but I'm going to drive it home and give you an idea of just what the uh, Range Rover is like with the diesel engine. So, let's start it up. Sounds like a diesel. Let's get my seat adjusted. Heated steering wheel because it's a, a frosty uh, 13 degrees in Detroit today. There we go. Put on our seatbelt, of course. Uh, first thing I'm noticing is that we don't have any kind of sport mode on the terrain response system. This is, you know, it's not the supercharged engine doesn't have the dy dynamic uh, options or anything like that, so uh, it's not going to be quite as sporting of a drive, but then again, it's a diesel. About 440 pound-feet of torque, uh, give or take a couple, so we will see what is what. No, I'm not about to hit anything, it's just super sensitive. Okay, let's go. I mean, it certainly sounds like a diesel when you're just uh, when you're just cruising around, which I guess is to be expected. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's not uncouth or unpleasant. Uh, this is the first diesel that Ra that Land Rover sold in America in years and years and years. And actually, <laughs> to be entirely honest, I'm not sure if they've ever sold a diesel here. Um, be something for me to research. So pulling out of the Autoblog offices and onto lovely Woodward Avenue. We're in Birmingham right now, so it's a little bit of a ritzy area of town. Do this turn around here and then we'll give it uh, give it some some pedal and see how she responds. Well, actually I can't because there's a red light up there. There we go. Green. So if you were worried about uh, there not being a lot of exhaust noise, uh, that doesn't seem to be an issue. It's it's very very clear that there's uh, there's some power under the hood based just on the sound. It's not it's not like the you know the supercharged V8 where it's constantly barking and screaming at you every time you go near the pedal. But off the line, like you know, really digging into the gas, it uh, it definitely get, makes some noise. It's not a bad thing. Though. See if we can actually get a little bit of cruising so we can hear what it's like when you're just tootling about at a, at a reasonable speed. Uh, we have the ZF 8 speed automatic here, which is easily one of the best transmissions in the game right now. And it doesn't sound, doesn't sound that bad. It's, it's quiet at speed. We're uh, spinning at under 1500 RPMs right now. Uh, the red line looks to be about. 4,900, 4,800, somewhere around there. We got some open space, so yeah, it uh, transmission drops gears really, really well, which is is to be expected. We'll uh, put it into sport mode. Uh, you don't get any of the fun lights and cameras and or lights and uh, you know changing to red gauges and all that stuff that you get in some of the models, but. The downshifts don't feel much quicker. We'll slow down, we'll put it into manual mode. So we're in third gear. Quick on the upshifts, which is which is good. You know, always want to see that. Switch it out of uh, into back into full automatic mode now. And put it into normal drive, and we'll see just how she feels when we're just cruising around town. Doing about 50 miles an hour right now. Um, just a little bit faster than traffic around me, so you'll see me doing a lot of lane changing and whatnot. But all in all, it feels really, really good. Uh, we've been waiting for for Land Rover to to bring a diesel engine over for for quite some time. It, it it's kind of like the the Jeep Wrangler thing, where where a diesel is just a really natural fit for the vehicle, and 
Yeah, they've, they've sold the TDV6 Range Rover in Europe for years and years and years, but it feels like it'll it'll fit in well here, even with all the stuff going on with uh, looks like it's diesel scandal. Uh, whether consumers will be receptive to it, I don't really know. Uh, if I if I were certain of that, I'd probably be somewhere making a lot more money than I am now and getting paid to do all sorts of uh, fun product planning stuff. But all in all, it uh, it's nice. You know, you get more tire noise than anything, uh, which is kind of what I'm hearing right now, rather than than engine noise. So it's it's not bad. Really don't need to dig into the pedal too much to, to get a response from the transmission. Um, and it doesn't want to kick the revs up. It's, this engine seems very, very happy playing in the uh, lower part of the rev range, which which is to be expected. It's a, it's a diesel engine, but it's it's good to know that even with a, a vehicle as as big of a Range Rover, uh, you don't really need to, to work this engine too hard to get it to respond to you and do what you want and get you up to speed love to get to a red light so I can just, you know, show you guys right off the line how it, how it behaves, but uh, it seems that uh, Detroit's traffic is not going to cooperate with me. But look for more on the Range Rover TDV6 as I drive it along. Uh, I'll be showing you some other cool stuff. We'll even jump under the hood and you can poke around under there and see just what it looks like under there. I'm guessing it'll be a lot of plastic cladding, which isn't terribly exciting, but, you know, I'll try and get outside the car and give you some, uh, some diesel engine noise and you can see what's what. Enjoy!